Greetings to all our fellow citizens of the world. The United States prison system has been a costly and harmful failure in recent years. It has also become big business and a large source of revenue despite what the government claims. As of 2017 a combined total of 6,977,700 were either incarcerated in a federal or state prison or on parole which means that the United States has the highest inmate population on the planet. Arresting and incarcerating American citizens has become the new slave trade in America. A large percentage of inmates work daily for a pittance. For the tycoons who have invested in the U.S. prison industrial complex, it has been like finding a pot of gold. They don't have to worry about strikes or paying unemployment insurance, vacations or workers' compensation time. All of their workers are full-time and never arrive late or are absent because of family problems, moreover if they don't like the pay of 25 cents an hour and refuse to work they are locked up in isolation cells. No other society in human history has locked up so many of its own citizens. The private contracting of prisoners for work fosters incentives to arrest and lock people up. Prisons simply depend on this for income. Corporate stockholders who make money off prisoners lobby for longer sentences in order to expand their workforce. This system feeds itself says a study by the Progressive Labour Party which accuses the prison industry of being an imitation of Nazi Germany with respect to forced slave labour and concentration camps. This multi-million dollar industry has its own trade exhibitions, conventions, websites and mail order slash internet catalogues. It also has direct advertising campaigns, architecture companies, food supply companies, armed security and padded cells in a variety of colors. So what do these prisoners produce you may ask? They manufacture military helmets, ammunition belts, bulletproof vests, ID tags, shirts, pants, tents, bags and canteens. Along with war supplies prison workers also supply you with paint, paintbrushes, stove parts and assembly, body armor, home appliances, headphones, microphones, speakers, office furniture, airplane parts, medical supplies, and much more. Prisoners are even raising seeing-eye dogs for blind people all for a quarter an hour. In the past few years crime overall has gone down but the prison population has dramatically spiked up. The reason why has already been laid out to you. The penalties for petty crimes has gotten worse over the past few years such as one case of a man being incarcerated for stealing a car and two bicycles receiving three 25-year sentences. The new passage of laws require minimum sentencing without regard for circumstances. Profits are so good that now there is a new business, importing inmates with long sentences, meaning the worst criminals. When a federal judge ruled that overcrowding in Texas prisons was cruel and unusual punishment, the CCA signed contracts with sheriffs in poor counties to build and run new jails and share the profits. Private prisons are the biggest business in the prison industry complex. About 18 corporations guard 10,000 prisoners in 27 states. The two largest are Correctional Corporation of America, CCA, and Wackenhut, which together control 75%. Private prisons receive a guaranteed amount of money for each prisoner, independent of what it costs to maintain each one. According to Russell Burroughs, a private prison administrator in Virginia, the secret to low operating costs is having a minimal number of guards for the maximum number of prisoners. The CCA has an ultra-modern prison in Lawrenceville, Virginia, where five guards on day shift and two at night watch over 750 prisoners. In these prisons, inmates may get their sentences reduced for good behavior but for any infraction, they get 30 days added which means more profits. While this pie chart provides a comprehensive snapshot of our correctional system, the graphic does not capture the enormous churn in and out of our correctional facilities and the far larger universe of people whose lives are affected by the criminal justice system. 
Every year, 641,000 people walk out of prison gates, but people go to jail over 11 million times each year. Jail churn is particularly high because most people in jails have not been convicted. Some have just been arrested and will make bail in the next few hours or days, and others are too poor to make bail and must remain behind bars until their trial. Only a small number, 187,000 on any given day, have been convicted, generally serving misdemeanors sentences under a year. This abuse must end. Anonymous sees through your deceit. We must work to empower the criminal justice reform movement. Until the United States prison system and affiliated corporations see the error of their ways. We are anonymous.